By default, BP Radical Actor is able to interpret and work with both simulation and live data. However, you are very likely wanting to use your own characters for your own projects. Doing this requires using the Unreal Engine process of retargeting from the source onto the target. For new people jumping straight into Unreal Engine, the process of retargeting your characters might not feel as straightforward. To help alleviate some of the frustrations, as to help artists quickly jump in to creating and doing their best work, we've developed a number of quick rigs which help truncate the tedium of IK rig defining and retargeting. I'll be showcasing the quick rigs and then I'll showcase how to do them yourself to allow your own directed customization. A final note before I begin is that I favorited two folders, which I will be returning to a number of times. The root plugins folder, radical live plugin content, and my own custom content folder. Starting off, I'll be showcasing our quick rigs, and in this case, I'll be demoing with a Mixmo rig and our preset Mixmo quick rigs. Start off by importing a Mixmo rig into the Unreal Engine. Traditionally, we would now need to create an IK rig for our character and then a retargeter as well. However, certain ones are available to us already within the plugin, so we can skip these steps and make a copy of them as if we already made them. For the IK rigs, they are located within Engine, Plugins, Radical Live Plugin Content, Characters, and IK rigs. The IK rigs will be suffixed with underscore IK rig. For the IK retargeters, they are located in Engine, Plugins, Radical Live Plugin Content, Characters, Radical, and Rigs. The IK retargeters will have the prefix RTG Radical 2 and then the name. Copy both of these and bring them into your working folder. Now that we have them copied into our folder, we need to assign any variables which we might need. For the IK rigs, double click to open and set the preview skeletal mesh as your imported character. Save and close when done. For the IK retargeter, double click to open and set the target as your imported character. To preview if the rigs are correctly retargeted, you can play some animations which have been provided within the asset browser. Save and close when done. Our next remaining steps aren't provided within the quick rigs. We need to create an animation blueprint for our actor to receive the radical data, and then we need to create an actor to play the data back. At your imported character, right click on the skeletal mesh, create, an animation blueprint. And double click to open. Currently, the output pose is not connected to anything, thus not reading any information from anywhere. From the node, drag a line out and place a new node and search for retarget pose from mesh. Select the node, and on the right side, change the IK retargeter to a newly created IK retargeter. Compile and then save. With the core retargeting completed, you're now able to bring everything together into your actor. Return to the root of the plugin folder and locate BP underscore radical actor. Right click and duplicate and then name as you desire. Drag the actor to your working folder. Once you have it safe somewhere, double click to open it up. On the left hand side, you will see a tree of assets. Select the existing skeletal mesh and press the plus add button and create a new skeletal mesh and name it as required. On the right hand side, working down, change the anim class to a newly created animation blueprint. 
set the skeletal mesh as your imported character. If you navigate over to the viewport tab within the actor window, you will see that there is now two meshes overlap. To remove the overlap, we need to hide the visibility of the radical mesh. On the right hand side, in the search bar, type visible and then check the box as false. Below is a drop down box which is labelled visibility based anim options. Ensure that it is set to always tick pose and refresh bones if it's not by default. It is important to not delete or remove this asset from the tree as it will affect the retargeting process. Compile and save the actor and close the window. You can now bring the actor into the scene and connect it to your stream as you would with BP Actor. If you're not wanting to utilize our quick rigs for whatever reason, allow me to show you the general process of making an actor and connecting it to a radical stream. For the purpose of this demo, I will still be using a Mixamo character. However, I will be creating the IK rigs and the retargeter myself. The process of creating the Anim blueprint and the connecting to the actor does, however, remain the same. Start by importing your character, which you wish to bring the data over to. Now, we need an IK rig to correctly map the bones of our imported character. Right click, animation, retargeting, IK rig. Name it what you require and double click to open. Set the preview skeletal mesh as your imported character. On the left hand side, start defining the chain. Select the rig element and on the lower right, press the add new chain button to start defining. You can multi-select different bones. Right now, we aren't tracking fingers, so you can go up to the hand and stop there. Be sure to set the hips as the root. Save and exit out the window. A retargeter is used here to take motions from our source rig and then copy them over to your target character rig. Right click, animation, retargeting, IK retargeter. Name it what you require and double click to open. On the right hand side, set the source as radical default char IK and the target as your newly created IK rig. You can move some of the transforms for better clarity. Adjusting these values won't affect the overall position or offset the characters, as it is only for this window. With the two set up next to each other, you can preview the quality of the retarget by previewing some animation, like the ones I have here, which are included in the plugin by default. If the set of bones aren't correctly aligned, you can make necessary adjustments within the IK rig, and these will be reflected when viewed again in the IK retargeter. When you're happy with the results, save and exit the IK retargeter. We now need to create an animation blueprint to connect it to the actor for playback. At your imported character, right click on the skeletal mesh, create an animation blueprint. And double click to open. Currently, the output pose is not connected to anything, thus not reading any information from anywhere. 
From the node, drag a line out and place a new node and search for Retarget Pose from Mesh. Select the node and on the right side, change the IK Retargeter to a newly created IK Retargeter. Compile and then save. With the core retargeting completed, you are now able to bring everything together into your actor. Return to the root of the plugin folder and locate bp underscore radical actor. Right click and duplicate and then name as you desire. Drag the actor to your working folder. Once you have it safe somewhere, double click to open it up. On the left hand side, you will see a tree of assets. Select the existing skeletal mesh and press the plus add button and create a new skeletal mesh and name it as required. On the right hand side, working down, change the anim class to a newly created animation blueprint. Set the skeletal mesh as your imported character. If you navigate over to the viewport tab within the actor window, you will see that there are now two meshes overlapped. To remove the overlap, we need to hide the visibility of the radical mesh. On the right hand side, in the search bar, type visible and then check the box as false. Below is a drop down box which is labelled visibility based anim options. Ensure that it is set to always tick pose and refresh bones if it's not by default. It is important to not delete or remove this asset from the tree as it will affect the retargeting process. Compile and save the actor and close the window. You can now bring the actor into the scene and connect it to your stream as you would with BP Actor. Both methods of retargeting to your characters are compatible with simulation and live animation data. And like with BP Radical Actor, you just need to change the player ID for the actor. The quick rigs aren't feature locked in any way preventing adjustment and modification. So open them up, change values and break them to see how they work if you so desire. Our number of quick rigs we currently provide is just the beginning and we're always listening to the community in what more we can include in future revisions of the plugin. If there is a quick rig that you are searching for which isn't included, please let us know in the comments section and through our Discord channel and we will try to help you.